This is Kim Minch with a weekly update from the ICCAC. In this week's edition, we will cover the Athletes of the Week, and we will take a look at how the 2014 NJCAA Basketball National Championships turned out. First up, the Athletes of the Week. This week's Baseball Player of the Week is Nate Steger from Iowa Central. Steger had 16 at-bats last week, including 6 runs, 9 hits, and 7 RBIs. Steiger also had two doubles and one home run on the week. Baseball Pitcher of the Week is Austin Orvis from Iowa Lakes. Orvis threw a complete game two-hit shutout against Minnesota West, striking out five different batters to win 16-0. Orvis has currently gone seven innings without allowing a run this season. Softball Player of the Week is Lexi Beal from Marshalltown. Beal recorded a career-high nine RBIs and a 23-1 win over Misabi Range CTC. Beal went five for six with two home runs in the game. This week's softball pitcher of the week is Carmen Rivera from Iowa Central. Rivera picked up a save in a 5-2 win over Chesapeake College after four innings of scoreless relief. Rivera also made three other relief appearances and allowed just zero runs in those eight innings. Next, the NJCAA Division I Men's Basketball National Championship was this past week with Indian Hills representing the ICCAC. Indian Hills fought their way to the championship game but fell short to Jones County, 77-87. to Leading scorer for Indian Hills was Roosevelt Scott, who had 21 points, four rebounds, one assist, and two steals in the championship game. Lester Medford and Roosevelt Scott both made the all-tournament team. Medford also won the Bud O.B. Outstanding Small Player Award. Congratulations to Indian Hills on second place. In Division II, DMACC represented the ICCAC in the national championships. DMACC won their first game against St. Louis Community College 75-64, but then fell in their next two games. DMAC lost to, by two to the eventual second place team. On the women's side in Division II, NIAC represented the ICCAC at the NJCA National Championship. NIAC blew out their first opponent 100 49, won their second game 85 79, but fell in their third game 73 85. This put NIAC playing off for third place against St. Clair and won in that game 77-71. to Chelsea Jacox had 18 points and Latika Thompson had 16 for the Trojans. Both Jacox and Thompson made the all-tournament team. Congratulations to Nyack for placing third at the tournament and also congratulations to all those who have participated in the championships. Finally, check us out on Twitter at ICCAC Sports for up-to-date scores and more on the go and also check us out online at our website at www.iccac.org for more scores and stories about what's happening in the ICCAC.